fonts. I love them. You guys should absolutely love them. If you don't love them yet, then there's just something wrong with you. Anyway, I have three categories of fonts for today's video, which will be a font pack that you guys can download in the description down below that is just full with literally free commercial use fonts that I choose to just, that I would put a limb on that you would like at least. Mm, a limb is crazy. <laughs> I'm confident you'll like at least two. But before that, don't forget to check out the everything pack. It'll be the first link in the description. The fonts will be the second one, but the first link in the description is my product called the everything pack, where you get all of my handmade products that I have made for designs and assets and all those elements and layouts and a lot of stuff, basically over 27 products, plus all future products you get will be for free, no matter the price. All you gotta do is purchase once. It's like a subscription, but it's not because you just purchase it once. And don't forget the Discord community itself is a super, super dope place to 2000 active and genuinely cool members that I would I would it's cool over there like it's lovely it's like one of those like wholesome lovelies you feel me but let's hop into the video so let's start off with our display fonts where there are highly characteristic fonts where you would use these for the heading of your project and in other words basically the biggest text on your canvas because these fonts are the ones that you would use that will hopefully match perfectly for the vibe that you are going for in your overall design now the standout and unique faces have to be Angie's and variety for me one just feels like it's like sculpted by Greek gods with its different character sets. And the other just feels like it deserves to be inside like a Formula One poster or something. Speed. Hmm, that was so cringe. Oh my God. However, some of my genuine favorites amongst the group would happen to be Luxdu, Unifracture, and Outra. Luxdu is like a self-proclaimed, bold, futuristic looking display font where it's best suitable for designs like t-shirts, sportswear, logos. It has like a slight futuristic flair, but still grounded to what modernism is today. I'd argue what makes it even cooler are the symbols and number sets that come with it. I feel like you can create a whole art direction on just like the natural feeling of the symbols and how dope they look. Whereas Unifractor, this font is a black letter face that I wanted to include strictly because it's one of the better looking modern blackface fonts, but it's obviously in this group for free for commercial use fonts as well, which is really freaking dope. I've used this typeface a few times for campaigns and had a bit of like an evil edge to it, but I also have a feeling a lot of my apparel design is going to really love this as well. However, lastly for the display fonts is Outra. I won't lie, the artist's like presentation for this project didn't do the actual face justice. Just the sheer amount of weight and styles this font has is enough for me to deeply fall in love with it. It's basically an experimental font that feels like almost out of worldly, a bit futuristic, but also slightly dated to what a Y2K aesthetic can be and definitely be used for that as well. Now, next are the condensed fonts. I didn't say compressed. You can stop commenting. You can pretty much like never go wrong, by the way, with condensed fonts because they pretty much just save your life throughout the entirety of your design career. So you're welcome. Now, a lot of these fonts you guys actually got your hands on the last font video, but just in case you didn't, here they are. My favorites actually being Hocus and Tallboy. Now, I didn't showcase Hocus last video, but it feels like a calmer choice of the bunch, but also a great vertically tall font nonetheless. It remains this square or box-like character face, but still feels comfortable with the curves that come with it tastefully. And Tallboy, highlighted previously, but this guy is just super cool too. Something that feels like very industrial and dated, but yet still can fit in the modern design world today for sure. I said once before, however, but I feel this presentation having such like a hard old school dated art direction did not do this font justice either. I'm sure you guys can see it too. Just like literally put this font on like a black background. It just looks good. Now, last up is the Classico though, Sans Serifs. Literally all these fonts you see in the screen, I probably use about like twice, three times now by now, but my absolute favorites have to be Cyan, Fivo, and Barlow. Cyan actually has five different, completely different styles. But the ones I love from the set is actually the extra style and the italic style. The extra style is just like, just dope, right? I mean, it's a sans serif font and you can't really go wrong, but the elegant stretch or pull on some of these letters with the deep ink traps is just a 10 out of 10 for me. 5 just has that shorter stance, but just makes up for the height. <laughs> Why'd I write this? <laughs> Am I doing like a self by all like a like a you know not the tallest five just has a shorter stance. five just has a shorter stance that makes up for its height <laughs> it's definitely a personal it's definitely a personal thing five just has a shorter stance that definitely makes up for its height on how they choose to showcase it like looking at the v in five oh written out the style and where it cuts on the v itself just looks super dope and just like literally perfect again with a super deep ink trap so no matter how small the font size may get it's still very very legible and then of course barlow which happens to probably be a lot of people's fan favorite and you probably see this font around without even noticing with the long story short is now you know 
And also now you guys have some really cool dope fonts to populate your projects for hopefully just a good long while. And also just why not take these script fonts as well? Because I forgot to add it, but Layata is nice. That's a nice one. But yeah, with that being said, do not forget all the fonts in the description down below to download and just like, they're all free for commercial use. And when I say that as well, don't forget to always check the license because some free for commercial use fonts, of course, have a strict like a use set. So maybe you can use them for basically everything but using it for a logo, or you can use it for everything but not broadcast design. So don't forget to check that out yourselves. But as I said before, check out the everything pack, the first thing in the description, I, it, it, you will never be wronged by it, and I promise that much. And uh, yeah, I see you guys later. Set some HQ out. No day to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love, peace, enjoy your day.